Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jack or Mailbox and today we're talking a little bit about exo zombies. I mean, you and I both know that exo zombies is pretty much over with now. Uh, all of the maps have been released, all of the easter eggs have been solved, uh, but there are still some parts of the storyline that have yet to be explained or even brought to the surface for that matter. And uh, as long as it's cool with you guys, I'd like to revisit some of these things and try my best to explain them. So with that said, today I want to head back to Carrier and revisit some of the quotes from Oz that tell the secret story behind a minor character uh, in the exo zombie storyline. It's gonna tell the story behind the captain of Atlas's ship. Now if you did the easter egg and carrier and stuff, I'm sure you may have heard these quotes before, at least one or two of them. Uh, but thanks to the PC files of the game, we can actually listen to all of these audio files in order and get a better grasp of this captain's character. Uh, so basically the quotes that I'm about to play you guys are logs that were written by the captain uh, of the ship uh, right before it got overrun with zombies and we know that Oz was the announcer for this map. Uh, so he actually reads the log entries to us and uh, it's definitely an interesting storytelling technique, but uh, let's check it out. Since you're hallucinating, allow the good Oz to narrate. Captain's Log, Day 10. This voyage of the damned has made everyone fucking crazy. I hear whispers of mutiny. I've taken precautions to lock the door to the engine room so that no one will have access. I then hid the codes where no one can find them. Really? No one? Alrighty, so we start off at day 10 and the captain is starting to get a little sketched out about the boat and the voyage and just about like, you know, what's going on on the ship because obviously Atlas is doing some sketchy stuff. Uh, so he tries to prevent anyone else from accessing the engine room uh, and then we have day 11. Captain's log, day 11. I was confronted today by some of my senior staff. They demanded the access codes. I reminded them who is in charge of this vessel and they reminded me I was only one man aboard a ship of hundreds. All right, so then we have like these other Atlas employees who are coming in here and saying, yeah, dude, you might be the captain, but look at us, man. We got hundreds of people, and if you don't do what we say, it's gonna go down, man. Oh, shit, I gotta read another one of these. Okay. Captain's log, day 12. The crew tried a different tack today. Chief Officer Darla met me in my private quarters and... Oh my, I don't think I should read the rest. Wow, is that legal? Darla, I salute you. We all salute you. All right, so day 12 is definitely where it gets a little bit nasty in there. Chief Officer Darla obviously went up there uh, with a sexual tactic to try to get the codes from him. Uh, it's really funny the way that Oz is narrating this too. He reads it so dramatically and almost sarcastically at the same time. Uh, but let's check out the next one. Day 13. Darla turned on me as I knew she would. Despite the untold pleasure and pain she inflicted upon me, I would not give up the codes. I'm bleeding out from the stab wounds and blah, blah, blah. I think I should go back and reread day 12, no? So it's as simple as that. Darla ended up killing the captain, but as you could hear, Oz just got bored with the story. He's like, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but then we move on to the first officer's log. First officer's log, day 15. The captain has gone missing. Well, no shit. It's because Darla did him in, dumbass. Quote, we assume he is dead. Darla pretends to have no knowledge about it, but I'm convinced she went to see him. Perhaps she'll target me next. Yeah, you should be so lucky, first officer. All right, so it was pretty simple. We had our first captain, you know, the captain of the ship. He's in charge. Uh, he hid the codes from the engine room. Uh, Atlas got pissed, reminded him he's only one man aboard a ship of many. Uh, first officer Darla obviously went in there and uh, tried to do some convincing with uh, sex, and then she stabbed and killed him. And now we have a new captain uh, that's worried that the same thing is going to happen. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I mean, there's no more entries, at least, you know, that are read by Oz, uh, but he does say some stuff like, that Darla chick was one sick puppy. Captain DJ to the rescue. Captain DJ? Sounds like a raver. 
But it really just goes to show you how evil Atlas really was. It's definitely not a huge part of the main storyline, but it's just one of those fun little Easter eggs that adds even more depth to the story. And I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew about it and that you heard all of those quotes rather than just a fraction that you heard uh, uh, in game or something like that. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Even if you're not that much into exo zombies, don't worry. There's going to be a lot of Black Ops 3 content coming soon. Uh, but yeah, subscribe if you're new. And I would also really appreciate it if you love a like on this video if you enjoyed it not only does it help spread the information and stuff but it helps you know grow my channel so much appreciated uh don't follow your dreams follow me on twitter and i'll see you guys next time it's been ellen